Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Pemby and this is Unreal Engine 5. Now, I'm not qualified as yet to give you a tutorial on what I've done here, but I've got a few mo models that I've downloaded and uh, a few animations that go with it, which uh, they're quite good. They're X FBX files, but uh, this is the main character you get in the game. Um, like I say, I'm not qualified to give a tutorial, but this is just what I can do after watching a few t tutorials on YouTube. So let's have a Let's have a tour down what we've got here. We've got our main character here. See, eventually, what I want to look into doing, and if someone can tell me in the comments, how do I... I've got loads of characters I can use. I've, I've got a few kills on the characters, which is a, one of my favourite games, like Radic and uh, Vasari himself. What I'd like to do is operate them in the same way I'm operating this character, but I haven't a clue how to do it. So let me know in the simplest terms, because I'm thick as... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, you know what I mean? I can only take in so much uh, time, but you know, these are the kind of things I love doing. Well, let's have a look around here and what we got. Oh, we have a Spinosaurus and a T Rex. Oh, shit. Look at them, they're just sizing each other up right now. I'm just trying to get the scalability right of both creatures and both creatures in, in uh, you know, related. In, can't think of the right word in relation to my character now I'm gonna add some more to this I can have a baby t-rex they can both be eating they can put grass down where they can be eating the grass and uh, Mr. Spinosaurus can sneak up on them very sneaky he looks like a very sneaky dude doesn't he and uh, wipe them both out to uh, show his dominance we can't, we can't ignore the, the classic T-Rex there. We've we'll had a few Velociraptors and a few uh, Spino... Not more. Uh, not Spinosaurus, is what we call Triceratops, things like that. Maybe even a Pterodactyl or two flying across the sky. But anyway, this is what I've been doing. I've been messed about like crazy with this, this Unreal Engine 5, which is unbelievable. I mean, if I come out of it now, if I come out of it now and then press Control and L, I can mess about with it. I can make it like, see what I mean? I can do it like, it looks more like a classic um, prehistoric era. Oops, press the mouse button by accident. Let's go back. Let's get. Sometimes the lighting looks just right, so let's try that. Open P. That's a bit dark, but it's, uh, you know, the models are pretty good, you know. Anyway, we have Mr. T Rex and Mr. Spinosaurus about to eat one another, eat one another, or maybe make friends. I don't know. I can't see that happening. But anyway, I'm Pembean. This is uh, my gaming world. You get everything from dinosaurs in Unreal Engine 5 to Jack the Ripper to kill zone to anything that takes my fancy. Um, there's plenty, speaking of kill zone, there's plenty of kill zone 3 gameplays I've got recorded in 4K 60 FPS. Courtesy of RPCS3. And it's uh, to, just to get that game to not crash is a major, you know, major achievement. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll uh, keep you posted what I can create here. As I learn more, I will add more, and I'll be able to do more in the world in my own little gaming prehistoric yeah, nice world. bright summer's day here, but uh, there's not a lot to see. Um, let's have a look around. Let's have a look to see what we can see. Oh! A crowd has gathered. We have Radic and his clone. From kills on two and three, well, kills on two. One's looking a bit disappointed, and the other one's looking ready for action. We have Mr. Predator. Good job you can't see me. And we have a family of dinos, or velociraptors, as, as I should say. Aha, we've got baby velociraptor and mum and dad. But this, watching these two, and they still haven't kicked off yet. <laughs> Uh, this is so simple, you know, it's Unreal Engine 5, it's, 
like they say, it's going to change gaming forever. Uh, there's going to be so many things that even guys like me can do. I mean, this is just pre-animated models of, um, I've been able to get hold of. And um, actually, I have animations of these two characters. Actually, you know, the, the, like the attack animations, like the striking with their arms or whatever, or biting, whatever. I could change that, change these two dudes to those animations. I did a bit of a uh, variation. It's not, it's not, I'm not going for realism here, but you know, let's have a look at this Predator character. <laughs> look at that, it's amazing. Mr. and Mrs. Velociraptor and the baby's son. Oh, I oh, can't really tell. Might be the daughter. It's making a lot of noise, but so it probably is a daughter. <laughs> now there's collision against the characters, of course. I just walk through them, but um, there's no collision detection against the these mountainous re regions. So that's the next thing I'm going to get into. Being able to, you know, I had to make sure it. The um, tail wasn't waggling through the mountain there. Because right now, the way it's set, it, it will do. We'll have to uh, get some more animations going. Replace these two characters. You just got to get the scaling right, you know what I mean? You know, the creature had more teeth than a T Rex. Anyway, I can add all sorts, anything I want to this. So I've got so many models I've got. I've got some of the Resident Evil 5 models, Wesker, Joe Valentine, all those, you know, Chris Wesker, sorry, Chris, Chris, uh, I forget his name, but what's his second name? Anyway, the main, one of the main characters in the game. There are so many different characters with different animations. You know, the, you, your imagination is the only, only limit here, so. I'm having fun with this. It's my day off work because of the Queen's Jubilee in England. Good to see that, you know, fine English traditions are still able to happen. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.